talks for the MCU in the future because the MCU are doing a blade and it's a little bit troublesome at the moment. It's not gone very smoothly for them. But I have a serious question before we get into that. Okay. Is Blade the bad guy? No. Why, why, why would Blade be the bad guy? I've got my reasons. <laughs> okay. Vampires feed on humans, right? Yep. But that's that does not mean that they're inherently evil. Biology, right? Yeah. You, you, like you can't like if if a shark um, attacks a human, you're not angry at the shark. A little bit angry at the shark. Yeah, but it's, you don't. People don't go. Let's kill all the sharks. Actually, people do go. Let's kill all the sharks. <laughs> that's a bad example. But if a if a if a bear if a bear mauls someone, we don't go. We go. Well, you shouldn't have been hanging around with fucking bears. Yeah. I mean, I'm still a little bit angry at the bear, but I don't blame the bear. Yeah, exactly. It's it, it's their nature, so you can't really blame vampires as a, as a race. Also, yes, yeah, Stephen Dorff is the bad guy, yeah, definitely. But the rest of the, the rest of vampire society seems to want to work alongside humans. Hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, maybe go through like blood banks and not piss off humans too much. Like they say, they have a treaty with the humans and they want to want to maintain, them, right? Because I assume there's way more humans than there are vampires. Yeah, because they haven't been, they've been trying not to pl- 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 proliferate. Wish I hadn't tried to say that word. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, this is the I Am Legend problem. Mm-hmm. So the, the the original book of I Am Legend was, he lives in a world where the, where the um, vampires have taken over, or vampire-like creatures have taken over, and he's trying to find a cure for it by experimenting, hunting them down and experimenting on them. And in the end, he realizes that actually he's the bad guy because he's been going around killing everyone and experimenting on them when they are sentient beings and they've got their own society. And he is a legend to them because he is their bad guy. But the, th- the difference is that you say that the uh, the 12 members of the council are good. They have a treaty with the humans and don't particularly want to fuck with them, right? So I would agree with you on that part. Their nature, they're not evil. The thing is that the saliva that they pass on that turns people into turned vampires is more like a disease and like diseases also aren't inherently evil but they do need to be destroyed especially if one of them's trying to turn everyone in the world into a diseased person what about how chris christopherson specifically and blade are working right chris christopherson says that he does what he does because vampires broke into his house and killed his family yeah yeah, but humans could have done that just as easily. Yeah. That happens all the time. Have you never seen um, Criminal Minds? Like, if that had, if someone someone of a specific race or ethnic, ethnicity came into your house and attacked and killed all your family, and then your response was, I've got to wipe out everyone from that race, that's fucked. That is a good point. Like, in The Punisher, for example, the Italian mob kills his family. Yes. The Punisher's response isn't, I'm going to kill all Italians. Or all Italian mob. Actually, no, he does kind of. He goes after the people who did it to him and like their associates, but he doesn't go, right, I'm going to get all Italians now. True. Because that, that would be fucked. So I, I do see your point. Also, he says, he says that he found Blade when he was 17 in the street. And he was already eating people. He had the, he had the blood, uh, blood lust and then turned him to the cause, uh, his cause. So essentially you took a miner off the street and brainwashed him to kill for you. And remember how many times throughout this, this podcast we've mentioned the fact that when they go around killing people, they're enjoying it way too much. Yeah, there is that as well. But I will say this, I, I don't think Blood Blade's necessarily the bad guy. Chris Christopherson's the bad guy. Yes. Whistler's the bad guy. So I have turned you on that point there. <laughs> yeah, Whistler's, Whistler's a dick. But like you say, Blade's brainwashed. You can't blame him. All right, I'll meet meet you uh, 75% of the way. All right, thank you.